Good, are we good? A few moments later. Hi Raj, how are you? I'm good, Karan. How are you? Why do you play cash and not tournaments? Given the value the tournaments have in today's scenario. दर्द बहुत होता है. दर्द हो गए. और दर्द की कीमत चुकानी पड़ती है. So I really don't have time to sit four or five hours at a stretch, and I'm a I'm married, so all those factors are there. Cash is convenient to begin with. You know, you can sit down whenever, go boom boom, and you know, do this. Tony's, you need that law. Uh, you need that grind. You know, you need yeah. to know that you're not going to be called upon in the next four or five hours, which is kind of yeah. difficult to say, right? And that is my major number thing: convenience. Convenience. So, Raj, over to you. Good luck, and we are all waiting for a fantastic session coming from you. All right. Thanks, Kal. That's. me an introduction <laughs> so you guys know uh, who i am and we're going to talk about the major differences between cash and tourneys and uh, those factors that you should know about before you sit down on the fells and play zillin i worked all over the place came back joined the family business did my masters got married and after that i actually started playing poker ab chronology samajh lijiye poker life india started in uh, september 11 In 2018, poker took me to places. It made me made me meet people I thought I would never meet. One eternity later. Is the main difference between cash games and tourneys, right? With the word sex appeal, that's what gets your attention, right? Marketing me hota hai ke sex har jagah dal do. मतलब attention मिलती है. What is that? Yeah, photo chhapti hai achhi. You know, mm, you get a trophy and shit. You get to you know show it everyone. You get this big prize money. Players. Uh, lesser known, almost next to no fame. It's like a hardworking, um, you know, second generation actor like uh, Abhishek Bachchan or something who doesn't get bhao but is hardworking kind of a thing, right? Um, maybe some other actor. So you know, the next point I'm coming to is flexibility. Kabi bhi, kahi bhi, right? Several bad puns late. Is what tournaments rely on is survival, right? लास्ट में जो बचता है उसको ज्यादा पैसा मिलता है राइट कि हाउ मच मनी यू हैव अ साइड आर यू गोइंग टू प्ले अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टोर्नीज एंड कैश और आर यू गोइंग टू प्ले ओनली टोर्नीज और ओनली कैश राइट सो फॉर एग्जांपल आई हैव अ रेशियो ऑफ माइनस टू 1 दैट इज फॉर एवरी नाइन कैश गेम्स आई प्ले प्रोबली वन टूर्नामेंट और समथिंग जस्ट देयर आर मोर देयर आर मोर न्यूएंसेस इन टूर्नामेंट गेम्स फॉर श्योर यू नीड टू बी अ गुड सक्सेसफुल कैश गेम प्लेयर दे माइट साउंड प्रिटी ऑब्वियस बट इफ इवन वन ऑफ देम इज मिसिंग ट्रस्ट मी यू इन इन द लॉन्ग रन यू विल नॉट बी अ गुड प्लेयर कारण यू बी सरप्राइज हाउ मनी पीपल डोंट नो द रूल ऑफ टूज एंड फोर्स इन काउंटिंग इक्विटी सपोज यू हैव एन ओपन इन स्ट्रेट ड्रॉ राइट देर एट आउट्स राइट Four eights are thirty-two, so thirty-one and a half, thirty-two. That is the equity you have. Okay. The turn that becomes half, so two eights are sixteen. Eighteen. Sixteen. Eight, right? Sorry. Like close. 18. It's close. Matter because when you're playing, one or two percentages are <laughs> fine. Yeah. Each table is different. Each table is so different. It's like learning poker all over again, right? You know, when you sit on a Diwali table, when everybody plays passive, call, 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 call. So you got to make those adjustments. And play exploit exploitative as well. And there's a saying by Alex Fitzgerald, who's uh, written a very nice book about exploitative life poker. He said that in order to exploit, you have to be open to getting exploited itself. Do I define which stakes I play? Okay, what amount of money are you literally okay with putting petrol and putting on fire? Not affected. Your lifestyle is not expected. Fuck it. Like sorry, anything. You know, you should have that kind of money stack put aside for your bankroll. Now you break it down. What is your frequency of play? Example, if you're playing every day, right? Then you need more buy-ins. You need at least a hundred buy-ins. Suppose your frequency is less. You're only playing on the weekends, right? You only need fifty buy-ins or twenty-five buy-ins. You can then play other stakes as well accordingly. The idea, the philosophy is, but the thing is, if you're playing out of your bankroll, you're not going to play optimally, man. You lose that hundred big blinds, and you're playing out of your bankroll. It's going to screw you up mentally, and the rest of the game, you're going to lose even more money, chasing after that money. it's an endless cycle what bank roll management does here it gives you a cushion uh, you lose your 100 big blinds and you have another 100 buy ins left that's like 99 buy ins more to go so you are at ease ke yaar i'll make it up in the long run but if you're playing out of your bank roll tumhara 30% chala jayega you're like i hi 
Now, Karan, another thing which many of the players don't know is what should you actually count? Like, how much money are you actually making? And your biggest asset in your life is your time. Six, you should keep track of is how many big blinds per hour or hundred hands that you're earning. For example, twenty um, big blinds per hour or hundred hands is considered to be pretty good. And uh, eventually, when you convert those big blinds per hour into cash, you will know that okay, I've been playing poker for six months. I put so many hours into it, and my per hour average is five thousand, six thousand, three thousand, one thousand. You know what surprises me the most? The majority of people, of the people, play on their mobiles and they do not track their hands. I think that's criminal. I think people should just give me their money and not play poker for guys who do this. Shut up and take my money. मतलब ऐस चारिटी करनी है ना तो करो अभी बहुत वो है. Like bet my life on this. You are going to learn the most from your own mistakes in poker. No book, no coach, nothing. मतलब Ben C V भी हाथ पकड़ के ना तुम्हें सिखा नहीं सकता poker. अगर आप अपनी mistakes खुद नहीं सीखोगे. The biggest uh, teacher is experience in poker. तो मेरा सबसे common जो league था was playing Ace X. जैसे हमने discuss किया. Starting में होता है ना इक्का आ गया भाई डाल दो. I have a template which you guys can see. I think it's a little small here. Where which spots I played well, which spots I did not play well. How was I feeling mentally? Was I feeling distracted? Actually, the school down exercise. Uh, it's actually taken from uh, Jared Tendler's book, Mental Game of Poker, Part Two. It actually helps you get perspective. Was it just one hand that I played badly? Was it variance or was it bad play? Apart from that, your uh, bankroll you can use apps such as Poker Bankroll Tracker, the tally counter. So the way it works is I put all my post flop or pre flop mistakes that I make. Whenever I make it, I hit the counter. And at the end of the session, I know okay how many times did I make what error. No matter how good you are, and you sit with the top five. best poker players in the world and you're the sixth one there's a good good chance that you're going to lose right all you need to do is find your edge give it volume at the right table and that's why game selection is very important bhai initially i win a lot ha huh? like 2 4 pe i get deep stack and then i lose it all like what 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 am i doing wrong so buddy i'll just say to the average players play for the pot great players play for your stack when you play deep stack good players are going to play more nutted hands and they're going to get you in with all their stacks even the best of us make this mistake number one example i'll give you getting married to your aces or your big pockets ikke aa gaye bhai gusa do puri andar matlab you know why and what do you say i had aces bro bhai flop to dekh lo kitna wet hai kitna connected hai kitne outs the kuch nahi kuch to lihaz karo mere matar saab kuch to lihaz karo full concept of spr which is a stack to pot ratio which you guys can look into further on look in indian field with the bluff kyun karte hai yaar especially at the smaller stakes hey, you are asking such a wrong guy to say this <laughs> <laughs> good poker players or most of them make their money from good value betting not bluff don't be an island means be a part of a community speak out talk i was wanting to move up in stakes i had a long conversation with uh, abhishek goindi he spoke to me for over now i appreciated that biggest mistake people make is board run ran out against me and it was just bad luck variance to hota hi hai a certain if it's variance it's okay part of the game accept it move on but if it's bad play and you think it's variance or luck your mistakes are just going to get reinforced and reinforced and you're going to play even worse if you if you don't have goals and i'm sure many people don't uh you're just floating but yes it should be smart smart careful form specific measurable attainable timely bound you know we judge ourselves too harshly we don't at- attain something having a specific number have a range be kind to yourself and try to get within that range rather than a specific number ho gaya aise logo ko what is that one thing you want to tell them jo jeetne ke baad bhi nahi uthte baithe rehte hain baithe rehte hain but wo tab uth jata hai jab wo haar jate hain ek cheez decide kar lo ki jab main itna jeetunga uth jaunga that is one option or i will get up after one hour in case you are winning suppose you reached your if you reach that point you have to ask yourself another question how am i feeling right now can i conserve my stack if you doubt yourself if you're tired if you're sleepy or you think that the field is too good and you got lucky in one hand and then you made your money ut jao listen if you win and you have set the call time and the guy wants to get up you got to respect that if you didn't want to you can put the call time as 1 hour 2 hours or whatever you want people will always tell you कि भाई बैठ जा भाई बैठ जा भाई जीत रहा है कहाँ जा रहा है जब हारता हूँ तब तो कोई कोई देता नहीं है ना पैसे यू गॉट टू एक्चुअली लुक आउट फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड सी वेन यूर कम्फर्टेबल एंड प्ले अकॉर्डिंगली टाइप्स ऑफ टिल्ट हाँ यार मतलब मेरे से पूछ रहा था मेरी बहुत सारी टाइप्स ऑफ टिल्ट रिवेंज टिल्ट इस बंदे ने मेरे को हराया मैं उसके पीछे जाऊंगा इन दैट केस यू चेज दैट गाय बट वॉट यू टेन टू फर्गेट इज यार बाकी भी तो छह सात लोग बैठे हैं जिसमें पैसे कमा सकते हो सो गनिंग फॉर दैट वन गाय दैट रिवेंज टिल्ट इज नॉट ऑप्टिम है मिस्टेक टिल्ट मैंने गलती कर दी एक हैंड में हार गया काफी पैसे बट उसके बाद जो दो तीन हैंड है आई लूज इवन मोर बिकॉज आई बीट माई सेल्फ अबाउट 
इसका क्योर क्या है क्योर इज यू गोट बी प्रिपेयर फॉर इट अर्लियर विथ समथिंग कॉल्ड इंटरजेक्टिंग फ्रेजेस इट इज योर वर्जन ऑफ हिंदी वर्जन में होता है ना आलिस वेल आलिस वेल So it is your Alice Well, Alice Well. You know that this is going to happen. होने वाला है. तो अगर ये हो गया तो तुम्हारा Alice Well क्या है? So you got to have that interjecting Alice Well for yourself. I think is uh, if the, if I make a mistake, my thing is what is the mistake? Move on. If it's entitlement, I'm like भाई सुधर जा नीचे आधा ज़मीन पर ठीक है जीत के hundred big blinds हारेगा क्या ज़मीन पे आजा. So these are things I've actually written down and they are my stickers on my when I play a session. वो sticker बने होते हैं interjecting phrases. Uh, Doyle Ban- uh, Branson's book Super System, right? he said this when you have aces or kings you're either going to win a very small pot or you're going to lose a very big pot when i get my aces i don't get too happy i tell myself calm down buddy calm down this is either earning a little bit or losing your entire stack if you don't play it well so it grounds me main uska ulta leta hu life management ye bhi bahut important cheez hai which people don't realize jab aap comfortable nahi ho poker nahi khel sakte poker is a luxury Poker is not a necessity; it's a luxury. If you're fed, you're comfortable, and obviously, it is kind of a privilege also to play poker. Last point I have, Karan, is like there should be someone in your life who you should have transparency about poker. My bankroll link or app is shared with my wife, so she's not into poker, but she understands money and everything else. So wow. that I've shared with her to keep myself in check. Is the thought of perpetual growth? Call it the circle of life, or whatever you m- might call it. Always have someone you can learn from, a teacher you can look up to. Always have someone you can compete with, your peers, and always have someone you can teach to. You can actually teach at any level, right? There'll always be people who know less than you or who are trying to come up. While you do that, it kind of reinforces your fundamentals while you're telling someone. Like Einstein said, right? If you haven't explained it simply enough to someone else, you probably haven't understood it yourself. life and poker can be what you make of it right so yeah. um it's never some particular thing that's good or bad it can give you a lot of joy treat it with respect it will be a joy forever and learn the sport talk to people be a positive force and yeah it will treat you well